Welcome to the Out Islands of the Bahamas, what we like to call the real Bahamas. It's different than what you probably expected the Bahamas to be. In the Out Islands, you can seek unique island adventures at your own pace. Come along as we explore natural, authentic, off the beaten path locations in the real Bahamas. Welcome to the real Bahamas. If you're a sailing or yachting aficionado, or if you'd like to be one for a week or two, visit the Abacos, another great example of what the real Bahamas is all about. The Abacos are the northernmost point of the Out Islands, only 165 miles east of Palm Beach, Florida. Known as the boating and cruising capital of the Bahamas, the shallow, clear, calm waters, first-rate marinas, and resorts make the Abacos a popular spot for pleasure boating and fishing. Marsh Harbor, the largest settlement on the mainland, has shops and restaurants that line the marinas. They bustle with vacationers and boaters, stopping off for supplies and a meal before they cruise to their next location. We wanted to rest and relax at one of the beautiful resorts of Marsh Harbor before setting off to tour the outlying keys of the Abacos. Nightlife in Marsh Harbor can be as lively and fun as a day of sailing, sunning, and exploring. There is nothing like a bonfire beach party under the stars to end a great day in the Bahamas. Welcome to the real Bahamas. There are many snorkeling and dive sites to enjoy throughout the Abacos. Most are walking distance from the beaches or easy to boat to. So we're going to check out Toulouse Sandbar. It's supposed to be some amazing snorkeling, pretty shallow water, nice and warm. Very, very clear. It's supposed to be some rays. We're going to check out some starfish. So we're going to do that. We're going to park this boat, find a place to uh, set up a little bit of a camp, throw on some gear and go snorkeling. OK, that's how shallow it is. Unbelievable. Hopetown is a quaint little settlement on Elbow Key. It's home to one of Abaco's most famous landmarks. Elbow Reef Lighthouse is one of the only remaining kerosene-lit and wind-up brass mechanism lighthouses today. The dutiful lighthouse keeper is responsible for this daily routine. And they also do a lot of maintenance. They have to be very handy and they have to be very reliable. I mean, you can't have anybody who doesn't remember to turn the lighthouse on. <laughs> Welcome to Hopetown. In the real Bahamas. Abaconians are very proud of their heritage and have meticulously preserved their town. Original New England homes still stand here, creating a sense that you step back in time. Biking is the preferred method of travel in the village. Cars are not allowed on its narrow streets. Of course, you can't explore it by golf cart or foot, so bring good shoes. There are still modern conveniences and comforts. The local coffee house is a favorite hangout. Welcome to the real Bahamas. It is easy to see why so many people love coming to Hopetown. It's a nice day today, isn't it? The people here are welcoming and friendly. There are smiles from every turn, and they are proud to show you around or lend a helpful hand. Welcome to the real Bahamas. We launch off to our next stop on our Abaco tour, Green Turtle Key. There's a sense of familiarity when we arrive at Green Turtle Key. The town of New Plymouth has the same friendly charm and welcoming locals. Also in New Plymouth, only bicycles and golf carts are allowed to drive in the settlement. It maintains a strong English influence, but it doesn't take long to learn that this place is uniquely bohemian and full of tradition. Hi, Hello. welcome to Green Turtle Club. Thank you. The Yacht Club Pub has been covered with graffiti dollar bills and pendants by patrons who continue the tradition of leaving a little piece of themselves behind. How did this all start? Um, Air Force pilots back in 1964 came here and they went back to war and they say, whoever came back first can buy their friends a drink. Guests are offered a tipsy turtle upon their arrival. It's made by the gallon. There has to be a favorite dollar bill up here, or any famous people? This one, one of the famous, most famous one is the president. Jimmy Carter signed dollar bill, it's right over there. Oh, wow. And All I think right. we should tuck these right up here, right where everyone can see them. There we go. We were told the best way to explore the island is by these all-terrain golf carts. They were great on the beach, which we wanted to find. I've been told that no matter what road you're on, 
the chances are pretty high that you're gonna find a beach. So let's just forge ahead. I say this way. Check it out. See what happens. Driveway to somebody's house. Oh, right here. Perfect. Oh my. Now this is amazing. Wow, so this is Green Turtle Key. Exploring the island of Green Turtle made us hungry. And we felt we should ask for directions for lunch. If I wanted to get one of these boiled or minced, what's the best place here in Green Turtle Key to get one of these? To go to Harvey's. Harvey's. Right. That's the place to go. Welcome to the real Bahamas. Treasure Key was our last stop in the Abacos. It is a great place to chill out and take it easy. Treasure Key has one of the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world, as noted by National Geographic. Resorts and cool bars and restaurants have taken advantage of this beautiful spot. And yachts are attracted to the well-maintained marina right outside their accommodations, as well as the Dick Wilson-designed 18-hole golf course, and of course, the beach. The Abacos, as much as I would love to stay, it's time for us to pull up anchor and shove off. But I can't stress enough the lasting impression that this place has left on me. But you're right, we gotta go. It's been real. We'll see you next time in the Abacos. <laughs>